I think we can start now. Alright. I think we're good. Yeah. Yeah, let's get this started. Okay. So, there's a few things that I we need to do now. Uh... So we could try to beat the, the, the thief dungeon like how I was last time with the cane of Somalia and not getting hit. We could also try to fill up on bombs and go to Misery Mire. Like those are the two main options that I can realistically do. Just gotta fill up on bombs. Um. I was kind of looking through, and two of the achievements, or the two, bo two of the boss kills, are going to require me to uh, get bottles, basically. And we can't have that for the final one. So, it will be best to do those, and then, you know, save and reset. But I don't want to do, like, everything all over again. So here's kind of what I'm thinking. In no particular order, we beat, uh, we get the treasure chest in Skull Woods, and apparently I'm missing a chest in the Swamp Palace? Apparently? So, I'm gonna go get that, because I didn't realize I was missing one. There we go. Apparently I'm missing a treasure. Back in here again. You know, when I was thinking through the... When I was looking through the achievements again and thinking about it... If you were to... If I were to ever do this again, which I don't think I would do this particular set again. Because why would I start this over? The achievements wise, anyway. Uh, I, I think it'd probably be better to just do two runs. Don't try to do it all in one run. It's really like the bottles that are kind of messing up with everything. You know, you can get a lot done in like a normal set of runs. Okay, I am missing one treasure chest in the swamp palace. I don't know where. This is the Swamp Palace. Is there a room I never went to? That is not the case. Okay. So there is just a treasure chest somewhere. I think it's either in the southern part or in the northern part. It's not there. And it has to be a treasure chest. It's not like it's a key from a skull head. Makes me wonder if it's like any of these that are pushable. Nope. Double checking. Taking this opportunity to also fill up on the bottle on my magic. That also helps. Uh, let's double check up here. Okay, that makes the water flow. This is just skulls. Bomb. Okay. Again, there is a freaking treasure chest somewhere around here. Questions where? Double check. A 
open all treasure chests in the Swamp Palace. And the Swamp Palace... Yeah, the, the Argus Final Phase, Rescue the Maiden, and the Swamp Palace. Yep, so this is the right place. There is a treasure that I missed. Just like double checking. Wait, do I need to pull the tongues? I feel like I tried this. Come on. Okay, double checking. Alright. Let's check up here. So yeah, to get through, you had to push the switch so you can get down there, but now that doesn't matter since I drank the water. I don't see any on the walls. Okay. As far as I can tell, there is no hidden rooms. Okay, we got that. That's good. So next, I'm thinking... I'm, I'm thinking, how about... Let's clear out the Skull Woods treasures. I think that might be best. I want to clear those out right now. Before going after either of the bosses. Because I would then want to, after after getting uh, either of the bosses taken out, then I would want to do a run to use the bottles to to uh, beat the boss of Skull Woods and Ice Palace, take care of both of them at the same time, and then reset. And luckily, I already have all treasures in Ice Palace, so that helps. So we're going to Skull Woods. Grab all the treasure. To be fair, we kind of just grabbed all the... We grabbed the fire rod and then just kind of left. So there's plenty to explore. Ooh, Skull Woods. Ooh, fairy. So they're running away from me. Okay. I think we need to go up this way. I I can pick that up. And right up here. Now, obviously, we have the big key. We have the fire rod. I don't know how many uh, treasure chests I need to pick up. But we could go to the boss room. Not the boss room, but head towards the boss. Hey, Rexy! How's it going? It's been a while. What's going on? Just playing through Link to the Past, getting retro achievements going on this. So, and I'm trying to get them all in, like, one run without having to do, you know, two runs, and honestly, that was probably a mistake. <laughs> probably would have been better off doing two runs. Made some of this a little bit easier. What's been going on? Let's fill up. Yeah, get some health back. So, where's this room lead? Ah, okay. I don't think I've went in here before. No, that's not pushable. So yeah, right now, I am trying to get every treasure chest in Skull Woods just to get it done. Did you finish Fire Emblem? I did. I finished that a couple weeks ago. And I played through Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. Then I played this. 
use the compass. Yeah, I played a whole nother other game before this one after Fire Emblem. Oh, yeah, and I also did a quick, like, couple chapters in Fire Emblem just to complete the achievement set. Because I was missing, like, four. And it required me to play a little bit of book... replay a bit of book two. Because apparently there were some hidden items. And the game never hints that they exist. Come on, get, get out of here. I know I can use the fire. Okay, there we go. Okay, back here. Now, where do I need to go? Back this way. There's a room I missed. Yeah, so one of the achievements I'm trying to go for that was, uh, you know, trying to plan ahead. Uh, one of the final achievements is beat Ganon without collecting any bottles. So I've been trying to play this game without getting those. University it had you busy. Yeah, well, that's what the art. That's also what the archive channel is for. So it's a convenient place to catch up. Oh. If they're not, if they're not on Twitch still, basically. Uh, oh, I almost got stolen. Okay, almost got sent back to the entrance. Uh, when I played Superstar Saga, I did also play with Retro Achievements. At least it wasn't that bad. Retro Achievements with Superstar Saga wasn't that bad. There were only like four missiles in that one. And two of them were at the beginning of the game. So it wasn't that much of a hassle. There's no switch or anything. Uh, give me a second. I have to take this. So yeah, just a reminder. Uh, at the end of at, at the end the at the end of the week, I am taking a two week break because I'm house sitting. So I'm really hoping to get this done before I go on my break. There's one treasure left over, and I think it's towards the boss. So if we head towards the boss right now, we should be good. Alright, so we want to go up here. Yeah, but yeah, I I went through Retro Achievements with Superstar Saga. There were only like four missables for that one. Uh, there were a couple mini games that took a little while to complete, but overall that one wasn't that bad. But this one, like... There's a lot of don't get hit by the bo by the boss one, so that's taking a little while. Uh, Ganon doesn't want me to collect any bottles, so that's actually kind of annoying because some bosses require me to basically have a bottle, so I have to basically beat the boss. No, I basically have to save, collect a bottle, reset. Sorry, I need to take this. Sorry, I, I need to take this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's see. Uh, the way that I need to go is this way? Go over here. But yeah, some bosses basically require me to have a bottle so I can, like, catch a bug or have a, the ability to refill my magic. So basically I had to get the achievement tied to that, reset to where I never got the bottle, and then beat the boss again, I most likely had to do the no-hit run variants. Should be a, there should be a treasure right here. Right, I have to go around. Okay. This should be the last chest of skull woods. And then I can leave. One of the achievements tied to this was sa making sure Zelda was the first uh, maiden I saved. And she was at Turtle Rock, which basically meant you need to go around all the Dark World dungeons and uh, oops. go around all the Dark World dungeons, open the treasure chests, Open all the treasure chests, get the get the main one for the weapon, and then leave. So I had to do a lot of that just to get to Turtle Rock. So we've been to like every dungeon, but I just couldn't like save the maiden. But since now I have saved Zelda first, and we opened every chest in Skull Woods, I can leave. I can leave now. shortcut out. Alright, we have every chest open in Skull Woods. That should be all the ones I need right now. Alright, we're going back to Thief's Den. Because this is a boss that requires me to have a bottle. So we're going back to the Thief's Den and I'm gonna try my hand at beating that boss with only the Cane of Somalia. Which is harder than you think. Well, once you get to like phase, basically phase two at the very least. Uh, you know what? That I'm okay with this. Uh, what's going? What's been going on your end, Rexy? Other than university. I need. I think I need to take this path out. If I'm trying to get back to Thieves Town. trying to take on two bosses. Uh, the one in Thief's Town, and then there's one in Misery Mire. And Misery Mire requires me to uh, destroy the small eyes with bombs, and then destroy the big one with arrows. It's just the problem was, you know, still need to do like the no-hit run at the same time. Makes me wonder if I should try to do one at a time, instead of doing them at the same time. Just focus on one or, or the other. Maybe we will do that. Try to get one or the other. It might save on resets. If I'm only focusing on not getting hits, but I can do whatever I want.
by normal, I mean by la last time, you know. Because this entire time I've been trying to do uh, do them at the same time. Just to try to get them done, but we could just, you know, one at a time it. And then reset again. So let's try it. Alright. Is that there? Yeah, I did not know this one, this guy could get hit by the King of Somalia. And two, you could just place the block. Instead of activating it. Okay, you know what? Yeah. Actually, no, I want to save first. If I'm gonna, like, try that. So we're just gonna... Yeah, we're gonna die. Save and continue. I guess for the achievement, let's just go ahead and only do the Cana Somalia part. If I get hit, we continue. Just get the achievement done. Then once that's done, we reset. And then have to do the, uh, do the fight again. But maybe what I will maybe what I'll do instead is we'll go to Misery Mire and take care of the other one and do the same thing. Just getting both done. Only the King of Somalia. I just keep getting hit. Okay, so we should get the achievement proc. Alright. And... Achievement right there. There's also the achievement for saving the maiden. There it is. Okay, we reset. Because I gotta do the no hit run, which may be harder. And the reason why I died and then hit save and continue is so I can keep the all the treasures that I collected. Not that I think it really matters. Alright. I think it's best to go to Misery Mire right now. Also, there's the Cane of Bryna that I'm missing. I should go find that. Alright. Okay, we are going to destroy him with bombs and arrows, and that is the main goal. That's the only thing we're going to focus on. Right, duh, I can swim. Or, you know, you know, the freaking bird kills me. That works too. I can save and continue, it's not gonna hurt anything. Really, I still start, start in the dark world, even though I. No, I was in the dark world. Yeah, I'm done. I thought I was in the light world for a second. Don't know why. I kept thinking I couldn't swim. 
Yeah, have I gone in here? I don't remember. Uh, okay, yeah, I did go in here. And the other one is a fairy to refill. to the end and clear this out yeah trying to do both at the same time it's like I think with the eyes because they die like they take many bombs to die right? it'll be better to just kind of separate the no hit run and the special iron run to two different uh, runs that's just probably a better idea. Still, the no hit run is not going to be easy. It just means I can actually hit him with my hit the eyeballs with the hook shot and sword instead of. You know, bombs, where it takes so long. Although, thinking about it, the Thieves' Den one, I don't think it's going to be that much different. <laughs> Because honestly, the Cave of Bryna helped a, is that actually did a lot. Or the Cane of Somalia. But I wouldn't be only limited to it, is the trade-off. I'm not only limited to the Cane of Bryna, uh, Cane of Somalia. So maybe I could get a few other shots in when in between King of Somalia's. That's still probably a good strategy to use the cane. But I have a feeling it's going to be it's still going to be a difficult fight. Oops. Okay. I finally made it. To the boss. Let's try not to get hit as much as possible. Because I still can't afford to die. are still alive. See? Like, I, I, I still haven't taken out a single one. And... Okay, I got hit. I was doing pretty good. I finally took out one. taking out some of the eyes. That's a little that's a little ridiculous. This 
center eye is attacking way more often. Oh my god. Even when I'm trying to, like, do this normally. Great. Um... Now I need to refill on bombs. This is the best way to handle this. I... Jeez, you basically need 20 bombs. 20 plus bombs. I need to find the cane of Bryna. And I don't remember where it's at. So I think I want to go try to find it. The question was, was it in the graveyard or was it... Was the Cane of Bryna here? Or was it here? I don't remember. You know what? We'll check the bottom right corner. We'll do that first. It might be faster to just actually take this route. Kill these guys for the next one. I can upgrade my sword, but I actually can't. Because one of the achievements is to get through Ganon's Tower without a sword. I don't even have it. So we gotta save my getting my tempered sword for Ganon's Tower. So we gotta stick with just the Master Sword. That's also a factor. I'm not dealing more damage. It's kind of like another reason why I think you should probably just do two bugs in order to do this. Yeah, it, it's kind of another factor of why I think you should probably just do two runs. Because that would be fine if you had bottles. Okay, uh, hit some. Actually, wait, no, no, no. I need to go to Swamp Palace and Ground. There's no... I don't think there's any way to... Ooh, eight? Yeah, I just need to kill those guys. Okay, what did this one have? Yeah, he... That one just gave me some rupees. Yeah... I would suggest do a normal run and collect everything along the way. And do what you can. Maybe the no-hit runs might be a different story, but, like, try to do all the other ones. Like, oh, beat the boss with only the cane. Oh, I guess I could have just swam. Oops. Uh, or, you know, do all those, right? And you'll have your bottles with you, so you can have that to survive. And then just do, like, another run. Basically just to do the no-bottle run and basically clean up what you're missing. I think that would be the better option. Instead of trying to do it all in base, more or less one go. Okay. Taking a look around here. Uh, nope. Again, the 
shuffle's not an actual item. It's only a temporary one. It's not like an Alright. Let me check in here. Alright. This is a heal. this. Sure. I will tell you the truth. I used to be a thief in the light world. Some of my fellow thieves went to hiding because they were afraid of being caught. One of them was a master locksmith, but now he's hiding the fact that he was a thief by pre pretending to be a middle-aged guy. Yeah, okay. Basically telling you how to open a treasure chest that will follow you around. Yeah, I knew about that. Down here. What's the point of this? If you destroy frozen enemies with a hammer, you'll often get a magic container. Oh. That's actually kind of useful to know. Alright. We need to move around. I think it'll be faster this than we warp. I have a feeling it's at the graveyard area. So the fastest route to teleport would be to go back here. Then we're going to take the warp up here. the treasures in here, right? I'm double checking. One of the achievements is to get every treasure chest in the light and dark world. But uh, there are two separate ones for those. You know, not counting dungeons. And now it's just like, great. I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting everything or not. There might be a room I missed or something. Change, you look marvelous. Before you save us from Aghanim the wizard, please do that. Alright. We're heading up here. This will probably be the fastest route to the graveyard. Probably. Well, actually, I could have just gone from the center because I have no shot. Damn it! Gone from the castle. Oh well. There's actually one thing I'm gonna check, and that's this shop, which is a shop, and see if I can buy bombs. I can use up some of my rupees that way. So I always forget this place exists, because I never need to go here. Can I buy bombs? No. Okay, never mind. I always forget this place exists. It's almost like I never need to go here. Because why would I want to buy a bee? Or... Well, the shield, I have the mirror shield, so I'm good. Okay, over here, I want, I want to double check this area. Let's see. Still need to get bombs. All right. Tell you the story. Pay you a beast. I found the incredible beauty inside the pyramid. But someone sealed the door, so you can't do anything with standard bombs, they say. Yep, I knew about that. It's not helpful to me. And... There we go. 
in here, what do we got? Ooh, box. Well, I can get my 20 rupees back, I guess. Sure. Up here was just a heart piece, right? I better double check. Yeah, I don't remember. I know I went in here, but I forget. Yeah, it was a heart piece. I got it. Oh! Is this a good place to b get bombs? Is this a good refill spot? There we go. Now I only need one more. That works. That's a good refill spot. Okay, the cave. It's not here. It's not in the graveyard. Or where the graveyard was. So if it's not here, then where is it? I know it's an optional area. I might have to look this up, because I actually just don't remember. Top right, not Death Mountain. That was where the Quake Medallion was. But there's nothing... could check down here. It's the only other spot I could think of of where the, the other cane would be. Because I could I could picture in my head where I what I need to do to get the cane. But like like the little puzzle room that it wants you to do. Like I could picture it in my head. But I just can't remember where the location is. Problem. It will help fill up that empty slot. Can I just do that? No? Is there really no way back this way? Come on, there's gotta be a way. Ah, it's right there. That's fine. Alright, well, I guess we'll head towards Swamp Palace. Just head in that direction. If it's not, like, if the other cane is not in that area, I might just have to look it up, because I don't remember where it's at. I'm gonna need it at some point. And I already know I'm not able to buy the... Actually, wait. I can just buy bombs here, can I? Just normal bombs, right? Yeah, you can. Okay. Well, I gotta remember that. I gotta remember that that's there. If I desperately need bombs. Because I don't remember all the shops and what they do. Or where they are and what they sell. Let's go this way. I'm probably missing something here. Let's take a look. Come on. 
over here. The only reason I went down this way before was so I could get the, the one medallion. Which that is, use the mirror in this section. This does nothing, right? Yeah, it does nothing. It's just there to indicate. There's nothing down here. Okay, well... There doesn't seem to be anything down here. Okay, well... I'm just gonna look it up, because I don't remember. I don't remember where it is. Brina. Oh, it's in Death Mountain. There's a cave in Death Mountain. On the western Death Mountain Dark World. Oh. Okay. I didn't explore Death the Mountain uh, thoroughly enough. Oh, you ass. Okay. So, supposedly, it's on this side of Death Mountain. talk to you, just to get my health back. Yeah, you know what? I don't think... Now that I'm actually thinking about it, I only just went straight to Ganon's tower. Well, uh, just to the tower. I didn't explore the rest of the dark world of this section. <laughs> yeah, okay, I see where I made my mistake. I had to explore all of this side of Death Mountain. This is the room I was thinking of. Magic cape. Titan's mate anyway. There we go. We got the cave of uh, Cana Brina. Oh, we got all the treasure chests in the dark world. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, I have no magic. Not that I can use it anyway. Alright. Let's go. Don't worry, Link, you'll survive. You have the health. It's kind of mean of them to not put uh, potions on that side. <laughs> yeah, it's either you need the cape to safely make it over to the treasure chest, or you need to have the HP to make it all the way over there. 
I knew, like, I knew that was the room, but I couldn't remember where the room was. Oh, thank God, a full heal. Do we get a heart piece, uh, a heart container in Ganon's Tower? Or do we need to have 20 before we go to Ganon? Ganon's Tower. Because I'm doing the math, and I'm getting three heart containers from the bosses, which will leave me with one missing. Um... Should we do no hit on the Yeah, let's go ahead and do no hits or attempt no hits on Oh wait, I need a magic refill. Um Hmm. What's a quick way to get a magic refill? Dang it. What is the fastest way to get a magic refill? Because I want to keep this safe. Where does that take me? Ooh. Yeah, I should save the cane. That's not helpful to me at all. Um... Wait a minute, um, what about the witch over here? Can they give me, like, a free, free, free heal? I know I can't heal without bon without buying a... Without a magic bottle, you cannot buy any potions. I know that. But I need magic refill. <laughs> right, I think I just need to kill this guy. Or he has a better chance of dropping magic potions, maybe. Supposedly? Come on. Okay, hold on. I know a place with like three of them. Get some magic, and then we'll, uh, I think we'll try no hits on the, on the, uh, Thief's Town boss. Wanna drop magic? Nope. Why? Why don't you drop magic? Come on, make this easy for me. I just need a little bit of magic. Just a little bit of magic. What the? Why are you hiding in there? How come I only get rupees out of here? It must be a rare drop or something. I never realized how much this game just doesn't like to give you magic. At, like, at all. There it is. There we go. Alright. Let's try the no-hit run. Over here. Only because... Uh, if I die, I can save and continue, and we'll try the, we'll try the eyeball. Because if I manage to beat the eyeball, and I reset, that means I would have to get the cane all over again. You know? Whereas here, if I manage to get the no-hit run, I can just keep it. Doing a lot of jumping around, I know. I'm trying to 
to get what I can. Still gonna use the Cane of Somalia on the fight, it's just I won't be only limited to it. Oh no, I'm bunny now. Oh wait, no I'm not, I got hit. Okay, no hit run. Let's go. the Gleok flying heads. That is just gonna get annoying. And again, with the no hit runs, the game's like, no, 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 you're not allowed to have, uh, you're not allowed to use, like, the cape. Okay. Let's go to Misery Mire. Let's try... Try the boss again uh, with killing the eyes with bombs and then the arrows. It takes a lot of bombs. It's a lot of bombs. You basically need full sets of bombs just to safely handle this. And that's the thing, the more eyes you take out, the more, uh, the, uh, the faster the middle eye is gonna start throwing electricity at ya. Pretty much might as well. We're kind of trying to do a no-hit run at the same time, just because of how long it takes. Kind of need the survivability. But yeah, I think we have all the chests and all the dungeons. Because uh, I know I already got them all in Ice Palace. Other than maybe Dark Palace, which that's the first one, which, although I think I might have them all. Uh, actually, yeah, I think we have all treasures. So we got that done. Hey, Tyler, how's it going? What's going on? Just kind of taking out some achievements here and there. Trying to take out some of the boss ones one at a time instead of trying to do both the no hit run and the special kill at the same time right now. Going after the eye boss in Misery Mire. I'm gonna try to do the special kill and save the no hit run for later and reset, you know. What's going on, on your end?
Alright. Made it. Still doing some achievement hunting in RE4 Remake. You got some more annoying ones out of the way. Oh, uh, like which ones? Which ones uh, did you get out of the way? What? Oh, that's BS. I have never seen you use electricity all the way over there. Just being like, nah, I'm not giving you the opportunity to even get the no-hit run. Try again, scrub. Which is fine. I just want to do the first one. Destroy with bombs. The eyes take forever to kill. I mean, look, the achievement's like, hey, let's have you kill a boss in a unique way. Like, okay, I never thought I would. this would work, but it's also not a fun way. In the sense that the eyes take too damn long to kill. like five bombs to kill an eyeball. Oh, see, I finally got one. Okay. So you're finally getting some of the eyes out of here. It basically takes like 20 bombs just to do all the eyes, give or take. Actually, maybe close to 30. Okay, this should give me two achievements right here. I want them to proc. There we go. That's done. And then free the maiden, reset. Okay. Uh, you did the one where you can only use the handguns and can't heal. Oh, okay. As well as the one where you can't talk to the merchant the entire game. The ones with the handguns and healing are separate. Those are two separate achievements. Did you do them at the same time? Or did you, are you saying you just took care of them already? Oh, wait. You probably didn't hear that. Um... The, the handguns and healing ones, I understand they are two separate achievements, but did you take care of them at the same time? Or did you just take care of both of them right now? You did do them at the same time, which was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And you know what's a bad idea? Oh, well, not a bad idea. You know what we're going to do now? We are going to do the two boss special kills where we need bottles. We're going to take care of two where I cannot save. No saving for me. Grabbing this bottle, 
I could grab three bottles. But yeah, I can't afford to save. And we're just doing this for two achievements. That's why I kind of want to take care of all, like, the treasure chests and all the dungeons. More doable, but it wasn't that easy. How was the... Uh, the one where you couldn't, uh visit the merchant at all. And does it have to be on a fresh save file to not visit the merchant? I didn't mean to go in there. I'm almost surprised that you can do it in New Game Plus. Okay. By the way, Tyler, I don't know if you heard me say this already, but if you were to try this set uh, for Link to the Past, do two runs. Just do two separate runs. Uh, use the first one to get everything as you see them, like, you know, do the bottles. Get the bottles right away, because that's honestly what's a big factor. Do the bosses when you can. Maybe not the no-hit runs, but the other special kills. Because those are doable on a normal run. And then get the last few that you're missing on a separate run. Including the no-bottles run. For Ganon. I think it would probably be faster just to do two runs. Alright, three bottles. Okay. So... I need to go here... We are going to buy a blue potion, because that's just nice to have. Ma mainly for the magic refill. And you know, I could get the fourth bottle, but I think that would just... I, I don't think I need the fourth. But yeah, what achievements are you missing now for RE4? I'm gonna get the free, uh, actually, I have plenty of rupees, why am I, like, trying to get the one for free? I could spend the rupees, I'm not keeping it. Whatever. You know what, I'm just gonna buy the... The green potion. I'm not keeping this run anyway, so it's I'm getting my rupees back. Besides, I have nothing to spend my rupees on anyway. Alright. I have two full magic refills. I need to go to the bottom right. Oh! Wait, I, I skipped a step. I need the bug net. I need the bug net for this. The big ones are beating it on the highest difficulty and getting high rankings as well as a handful for the DLC. Well, are the ranking ones for like the what was it, the mercenary mode? Or did they or do they not have mercenaries mode? I'm assuming I'm remembering the mode correctly. <laughs> so I need the bug net. Okay, no, not this room. Rankings are just beat the game quickly. While well, Mercenaries does have rankings, there's no achievements for it. It's kind of weird that there's no achievements for Mercenary mode. Mercenaries mode. You know? I know that when RE4 gets retro achievement support, which if it hasn't already, it definitely will, uh, you know for a fact there's going to be stuff tied to that. 
Uh, I need this. Let's do that. There we go. That's a special bee. Keep it in a bottle. So we got an achievement for getting the good bee from here. And, uh... Uh, catching it in a bottle. So now I want to take that good bee. We are going back here. I don't know how this works. Wow! I've never seen such a rare bug. I buy it for 100 rupees. So sell the rare bug to him. <laughs> uh, now let's go grab another one. So you get the same thing though. There's probably a special offer you get by Essel. Yeah, isn't there some... A normal RE4. Let's just talk about normal for a second. Isn't there like outfits that you can get for completing mercenaries mode? There's some sort of unlock. I know there is. I need the B again. I need to sell it for one. No, I don't want to actually catch the fairy. Okay. Keep the B in a bottle. Got that. Okay. So, we need to do two dungeons. I'm going to refresh the page real quick since we got a few achievements. All right, finish Mothra, Mothula, with bees, and then rescue the maiden. Do I, it just says finish it off though. Seven hits with the fire rod, good bee to finish it off. Your hits won't actually damage the boss if he's over spikes. Uh, Be prepared to recatch your good bee after a few hits. Okay. Let's go try to fight Mothra. I believe that's how you get the alternate off outfits in the original. It's been a while. That, that sounds correct. That sounds correct to me. As someone who has not played RE4, or actually any RE game, but has seen playthroughs, uh, it sounds correct. Okay. Let's go after the special kill for Mothra. I don't care about the no hit run. We're just doing the other one. Gotta remember to not hit save if I die. I have to just hit don't save and continue. I remember always getting lost in here whenever I play. Skull Woods was just very confusing. At least in the remake, if you get the highest ranking in Mercenaries, you get Leon's Raccoon City Police in uniform. That's the one in RE2, right? Which, let's be honest, it makes perfect sense why. Because isn't RE4 remake just using a lot of assets from the RE2 one? So they can easily just kind of copy and paste it. We couldn't really do that in the original RE4. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. 
No, no, no. Then it's in the original RE42. Oh, okay, so it was already there. Okay, I wasn't sure on that one. So it kind of fits. Yeah, I just think that uh, they really just did it because they already had the assets. Oh, I can't take it away. Alright, it would be faster to do this. Just light them on fire. I thought they turned into the skeletons. But no. They die. I Oh, well, that's different. Magic back. Oh, great. I have to walk around as a bunny. Come on. Try that again. No, there's a hidden door everywhere. Right there. the magic refill. Oh, you have a key. Of course you do. I, I need, like, the full magic. Even though I have the bottle, I want to save it. Uh, or you wants to go for it, but also getting plus is far from easy. It's well on every stage. I why not, you know? But now that I'm, like, really thinking about it... Uh... But yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, there's no achievements to it, so it's really just for bragging rights or extra costumes. Alright. Seven hits with the fire rod. Good be. And the bee ran away, so I failed. I thought it said seven hits on with the fire rod. Do not save and continue. Not only do I need to get my B back, I need to uh, refill my potions. That's the annoying part. Again, I was I was reading that you just need seven on the. We could try the Ice Palace instead. Hmm. 
regular B and a good B just to be extra safe. If the regular B doesn't kill her, use the good B and do as needed. Uh, again. Oh, now I'm reading that someone tempted nine shots with the fire rod and used a normal and a good bean and still didn't do it. Although apparently there is a glitch with Mothra. Uh, if you deal damage to Mothra and Mothra is over spikes, you deal zero damage. That is weird. So let's go ahead and try that again. I'm reading nine hits with the fire rod, fire rod will work. If we fail this attempt against Mothra, let's go after the ice one then I don't need the good B for that one. I can just get blue potions. Man, a no... I feel like a no-hit run of this is going to be very hard. Actually, a no-hit run of a lot of these are going to be very difficult. Are you going to go for the other achievements with the basically the speedrun one for RE4? Because at this point, you're probably... You played it enough to where you kind of know where everything is. So it shouldn't be too hard to go through it. Right. Time to go after Mothra. Actually, does Mothra take up? Oh, oops. Yeah, you plan to do that soon? I know the game pretty well at this point. Yeah, with those speedrun ones, you gotta play that, like, before taking a break, you know? You take a break, you're gonna forget everything. So that's one you should probably take care of soon, or sooner than later. like you don't give me magic. All right. I'm reading nine hits will work. I wonder if Mothra takes more damage from arrows. Or if it's about the same. Eight, nine. 
Gotta beat the game on the highest difficulty. So that's gonna be pretty bad. Yeah. Again, Good. Good. in a bottle, release it. Yeah, I'm noticed he's not taking Mothra's not taking any damage. If there's a spike, no, 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 we got it. That achievement's done. That one's out of the way. Again, I am not saving. And we will eventually reset. Yeah, and I managed to keep the B. Because of you can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Uh, that's not gonna be kept. Did you know about the prophecy of the Great Cataclysm? This is the way I heard it. If a person who has an evil heart gets the Triforce, the hero is destined to appear. <coughs> and he alone must face the person who began the Great Cataclysm. If the evil one destroys the hero, nothing can save the world from the wicked reign. Only a person of the Knight of Hyrule can protect the royalty of Hylia can become a hero. You are of their bloodline, aren't you? Then you must rescue Zelda without fail. I already did. I already saved Zelda. Manage to keep the bee, which I don't need the bee. But, you know, that's a nice save. That's a nice save. Okay. We need to go to Ice Palace now. Because that one's also going to require me to have extra bottles. But hey, I caught the bee again, which means I can sell it for 100 rupees. I still have my green potion. I still have one green potion. I want a blue one. And... Uh... Yeah, we'll just do two. That's fine. All right, now to the ice palace. Ice Palace requires me only use the fire rod to damage it. Just don't use anything else. Which, honestly, it's basically what I do anyway. So, this one doesn't seem that bad. Oh, yeah. Ice Palace gonna be lurking from here on out. Alright, do what you need to do. Thanks for at least chatting for a little bit. Gonna get this achievement in Ice Palace and then I have to reset and then basically do it all over again. Gonna be honest though, I don't know how I'm gonna do some of these fights with no hits. Like Mothra. Honestly, with all the spikes moving around, Mothra is gonna be difficult. Even if I am using only the Fire Rod or something. Uh, I don't know what else I can do. I have dungeons. Yeah, 
I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. be nice if I could finally get one of these where I get the no hit run as well. That would be nice. But I'm not allowed to have nice things. room. Not a fan. This is how I lose health. Oh, come on. Did I need to flip the switch? No. Yeah, ignore the switch. take the left path. Right. Go, 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 go! Down the stairs. Then, now we take the northern path. I just want to avoid that enemy. Alright. Freaking another one needs to die to bombs. Do I want to go to the right or the left? Yeah, we'll go to the right. Yeah, that's if I want to head back up, which... Yeah... Come on. 
get, get out of here. Do I pull this? That's my way out. Okay. If I use the hammer, that open. More bombs. Gee, I wonder if they want me to use bombs. Can I pull this? Nope. Really? Are you supposed to... Oh, okay, there we go. Not far enough. There we go, made it. This should lead to the boss. Only the fire rod. Wait, what? There's a Minecraft movie trailer? There's a Minecraft movie? Why? Other than money. Like, there's no reason. By the way, I just beat this boss with its special conditions without getting hit. Easy. Sadly, I can't keep this. Can't keep this. But we just got <coughs> the no-hit run done. Defeat the fire rod only. Don't get hit. Save the maiden. There we go. I gotta reset. <clears throat> got some achievements done. Come on. Oh yeah, uh... Get... Can you post a link, hot corn dog? Because I'll just pull it up on my laptop and look later. Okay, no bottles. That's good. But we got the achievements, so that's done. How about we go ahead and fight the, uh, take care of the ice palace right now and just get it done. Since we just need to kill the boss and who cares if I get hit. That way that dungeon's done. We can finally make it, make actual progress. Because uh, you only need the fire rod for the first phase. Okay, we're gonna actually complete the Ice Palace for real this time. Okay, I am going to go ahead and throw that in another tab on my laptop. Warner Brothers. Oh my god. Wait. Jason Momoa and Jack Black. <laughs> oh my god. It's live action as well. This movie doesn't need to exist. Look, I know Hollywood is out of ideas, and video game movies are now the new comic book movies that they're trying to milk. But, like, there are some things where it's like, no, we don't need this. Stop it. Get some help. And of course, it looks like it's one of those ones where it's people from the real world entering the Minecraft world, be like, oh, this is so weird. What do we do? Yeah, basically the isekai route. 
Again, I will actually watch the trailer later, but based on the little I'm seeing, I didn't even like the concept in the first place, let alone the fact that it's actually existing. Like, come on, there are many other properties that deserve, uh, like, movies, but no. Minecraft. Why Minecraft? Because it makes money. It still makes money. I'm not liking what I'm seeing as it is. You know, we have to, like, uh, consider the fact that, like, we have a trailer for a video game movie that just looks awful. Minecraft. And then let's compare it to the Sonic 3 trailer that actually looks good. <laughs> it's been known in the Minecraft community that the movie would come out, but they thought it wouldn't be bad since Jack Black was in it. He was also in the Mario movie, so there's no way he'll be in a bad movie. The, just because there's a good actor in it doesn't mean it, will be, it won't be a bad movie. It just means they might be the best part about that bad movie. It's like, Jack Black, you know, may be fun, but, like, he can't save a bad script. He could just make the bad script, like, more tolerable. A good actor can only do so much. Yeah, I know. And they also made a Five Nights at Freddy's movie, and I'm pretty sure that didn't do that well. Well, actually, no, wait. It, it did well, at least financially. But when it comes to a an actual movie, it wasn't okay, I think. I didn't end up watching it. Even though I thought, like, I probably should have, just to see how it went. But I didn't, I didn't see that one. What franchise I could see actually get a movie and make it worth a little bit more than freaking Minecraft? Fucking Bubsy. Bubsy would work better as a movie. And we all hate him. <laughs> Aquaman in the door explorer cosplay might be the What? I clearly need to watch the rest of that trailer. I saw Jack Black and it didn't have anything with it. I mean, again, a good actor can only do so much. I need to actually watch the trailer and get my full thoughts, but like, ugh, I'm not excited. That's probably a movie I won't end up watching anyway. Like, even if it was considered, it would have to be considered, like, a really good movie for me to go see. Like, because I have, like, very, like, no interest in Minecraft as it is. But, like... Dear Bill, the fans love it in the movie was mostly made for them, not necessarily for us. Right. Yeah, I but like that's the that's the thing though if you want to actually convince people about minecraft you need to make a good movie you know uh, you know for the people that still haven't played it basically basically the the normies of normies right and if the movie's just meh or bad 
it's not going to convince the parents that are taking their kids to see the Minecraft movie to go play Minecraft or anything like that. But if it's a good movie, like they actually fully enjoy it, more people may actually be inclined to go play the game. So... There is no reason to not make a good movie, you know? And if it's a movie that only fans can enjoy, it doesn't work as well either. Because, uh, the normies won't get much out of it. At least I didn't need to do the dumb hit run, I already did that. There we go. Fortnite moving run and basically Ready Player One, but characters cranking 90s. I mean, kind of Ready Player One already was. You know what? I can, why can I see Fortnite happening? I can easily see Fortnite actually getting a movie because of how popular it is, not because of the actual game itself. <laughs> uh, controlled by the powers of the Seven Wise Men, but the blood of Hylia has become thin over time. We carry the blood of the Seven Wise Men do not possess strong power anymore either. Our powers will increase if we mix the courage of the knights with the wisdom of the wise men. Only a short time remains to tell the gate of the castle leak and the world opens completely. You defeat Ganon, this world will vanish and the Triforce will wait for a new holder. I believe in you. Good luck. Do you understand? Yes. Sure. May the hero lead to the Triforce? Alright, we get to keep this. <laughs> so now... I'm thinking we'll try Misery Mire again. And see if we can do that with no hits. I feel like since I will have the hookshot and my normal sword, I'll actually have a better chance. So now I can keep some of this. Yeah, I don't really think the... I, I don't know the boss's name, but the, for the first dungeon for, in the Dark World, I don't think that one's going to be too hard uh, to take care of everything, but I just can't do it yet. Keep trying to blank. I say Ganon will be no more, but here he comes again. Yeah, Ganon keeps returning. It's the curse of demise that keeps doing it. Damn you, curse. Yeah, Ganon keeps coming back. They keep forcing ways to, for Ganon to come back instead of making a new villain. Like, I get the whole reincarnation thing. Like, Ganon keeps coming back, new Link, blah, 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 all that. I get it. But every once in a while, can we just get a new villain? And actually have them not tied to Ganon in any way? I mean, I like Zant as a antagonist until it's revealed that Ganon's involved. And then, you know, Zant gets sidelined sideline to Ganondorf. Uh, I know Demise isn't Ganon, but he kind of is. He kind of is Ganon. But it's kind of the same idea where I like Girahi, but then he gets sidelined to Ganon, quote unquote. Uh, I know there's like other villains that were added throughout time. Uh, Ye uh what was it? Yuga? Yuga? Of uh, Link Between Worlds just became Ganon 2.0. We had Vadi, that is true. Minish Cap Vadi was not tied to Ganon in any way. And that's a good thing. But then Link, uh, Four Swords Adventures came out. And Vadi's back. Cool. 
But now Ganon's back too. Damn it. <laughs> Look, I don't mind Ganon. I like Ganondorf. But like... Or I, I'm more okay with Ganon coming back than Ganondorf coming back, if that makes sense. Like, I see it as Ganon as the spirit possessing a, a Gerudo boy, basically. That's how I view it as. And Ganon just takes over a new host every once in a while. It's Ganondorf coming back where it just kind of feels like we're jumping through hoops just to make Ganondorf come back. take a lot of damn okay I guess we'll go with the bow then I can save and continue is there a fast way to kill the eyes Hold on let me see if I can find something on that see if like comments have if there are any comments saying anything about Two silver arrows, eye dies in one hit. Nope, misery mire is necessary to get the special crystal. To get the red bombs. Branicane? Ooh, maybe. This one doesn't even need Branicane or Cape. Just sit at the bottom of the screen and use bows and arrows. Towards the lightning of the big eye requires 35 arrows for a perfect fight. Wow. Uh, hmm. Well, it, I'm not reading anything about like special kills. Some people are saying bows and arrows, but it's not really doing anything special. I may use the cane of Rhino for extra help, maybe? Let's try it. Very quick. Yeah, it creates like a barrier. But I can't have it and the bows and arrows at the same time. Oh wait, the no hit run tell is telling me don't use the Rhino, I think. So no, I can't use that. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad I can't get sil silver arrows. So someone said that silver arrows kill these uh, eyeballs in one hit, but. You need to beat this dungeon to even actually get silver arrows. It's this one, the ice palace, that you need. So, thanks. Yeah, we'll probably just use the sword and normal bows and arrows when I can. Try not to get hit. Keyword on try. Finish cap two when we're never gonna have finish cap two. There's a one and done. Actually, Breath of the Wild almost brought the finish. Uh, not Breath of the Wild. Tears of the Kingdom. Actually, maybe it was Breath of the Wild. And they almost brought the finish back. Like they were like lost content or something. But yeah, uh, if I remember correctly, based on like plot, the Picori Blade turns into the Four Sword. So, uh, but then that links to Four Four Swords Adventure, and I forget if they actually just straight up kill Vagi, or if he gets sealed. But again. 
that that's an option they could go with or just i don't know create a new villain that has no connections to ganon or ganondorf whatsoever Like, Yiga, or Yuga, whatever his name, whatever the name was, possessing Ganon is one thing, but then the fight just becomes a way to, uh, repeat the Ganon fights in, from this game. It's just like, oh wow, you didn't even make a new fight. Thing I could do to make the no hit run easier on myself. Whether or not I can actually pull it off is a different story. We could do a save and reset thing. Uh, I could upgrade my sword. And that way I have a stronger sword. And then fight this thing, try not to get hit. And then beat the boss with no hits, leave and come back. And I, and I could probably even do that with like some of the other bosses. That's a strategy. So let's be honest, the no hit run is going to be very difficult. This one at all at any point I could get the level four I think so even if it's only temporary I can have the level four sword for doing no hit runs basically we may end up trying that That sounds like an idea. So I'm gonna try. Okay, last night I tried beating Zant again without getting hit. I gave it like a few tries. Wait, how old does how old do these work on uh, the boss or the eyes? He wants to try, but at the same time, I almost don't. Um, let's try ether. Time freezes. No, uh, bombos. Bosses are immune. Or they don't show it. Dang it. Okay. 
And I got you. Okay. You know what? It sounds like a plan to me. Let's temper my sword. We're gonna do like a sa whole save reset and try to get all these no-hit runs with like very strong with a very strong sword. This sounds like a plan to me. get my sword tempered. And again, I can't afford to keep the level 3. I have to get through Ganon's tower without it. This is just to get some of the achievements without... Uh, you know, just get some of the achievements out of the way. Alright. Welcome. Ask a temper my sword. 10 rupees. Yes. They have my sword. Go back in. What do you mean you're not done yet? Do I have to leave? I keep forgetting how this works. I think I need to leave this screen. And then come back. the level three. Again, I gotta make sure to not save. We're going to try this again with my level three sword. I mean, getting the no hit run is good enough. And then I can, like, basically save and come back if I wanted to. Well, not save, but reload, do the fight, and then just beat it like normal. Let's go ahead, roll. Kind of wish you recovered MP as well. But if I beat this, this will allow me to get the Super Bomb, which allows me to get the Silver Arrows and the... And the level 4 sword. Which, honestly, I think I could do the silver arrows without the level 4 sword. But because I'll have a stronger sword, it will make some of the other fights easier. This is why I was kind of saying, maybe do two runs. I'm just dumb. Oh, I didn't, didn't really notice that it was an app. are just kind of here to help out. It'll mainly be through my sword, probably. It'll probably deal more damage. Oh, the boss is easier to kill with just the bow, honestly. Alright, 
Let's try this. We have a stronger sword. Takes about three arrows. Got it. Now that I know that, I can just kind of spam the arrows. That would actually be a lot easier. it was I just didn't know how many arrows I needed. But knowing I could just spam it to kill the eyes easy, that works. I didn't need the sword. Okay, I can't save, but we should have the, the uh, no hit one. There we go, there's the no hit one. Honestly, that was actually easier than I thought it was. Now that I know about the arrows. Because of you, I can escape the clutches of the evil monsters. Ganon captured us because we couldn't break the seal of the wise men with his power alone. And then, using the wizard Aghanim as his pawn, he drew us into the dark world. After cracking the seal with our powers, he sealed us inside these crystals. He then gave us to his loyal monsters, but Ganon didn't plan on, get on you getting this far. Now Princess Zelda is waiting for you inside Turtle Rock. That's not true. I already saved her. May the hero lead to the Triforce! Okay. Uh, I need to... Apparently I need to use the mirror. Alright, we're keeping the sword, but we're not gonna save. We're gonna try to get a few of this done with the power of sword. I'll just make things easier. Okay, I need to go to area 4. We're going back to the Dark World. Okay. Now I'm here. If I could take care of... Thief's Cave with no hits. At the very least, I think I want the Thief's Dungeon with no hits. After a little bit, it might not be a bad idea to just reset after another dungeon, then just take care of those two dungeons again, and then make a permanent save. Okay. Oh, good. Getting hit actually doesn't matter. It's just pressing A. Okay, good to know. Bring it back here. All the way up here. Three, two. Three, two, one. This opened up. I will throw in my sword. Did I drop this? Yes. You're an honest person. I'm gonna give you something better. There, we got the level four sword. I might as well just power up my arrows too, because anything will help me. Listen, throw an item. Bow. Okay. We 
got the silver arrows. Okay. Again, right now I'm not keeping these. But let's go to Thieves Town. finish this dungeon because I wouldn't mind taking taking care of two dungeons before resetting. I think we'll be good. I just have the silver arrows as a just in case. You know, if I need to use it I have something stronger. Still, King of Somalia is still probably going to help out. But, you know, with a level 4 sword, the boss will probably die faster if I just use my normal sword. using my normal sword for a little bit. I can basically use anything. Although, let's be honest, like, it's easy to set up like the first two. Never mind. I got hit. So what, it takes like... Three hits? Okay. Three hits with the sword allows me to swap to the next four. Keep that in mind. You can see how this fight would take a while. It's kind of why I wanted the stronger sword. Because do not save and continue. I almost just mashed the button. Although I think when we go to fight Ganon, we can have the level 4. We just can't go through to Ganon's tower with it. Okay. Let's go. Three hits with the sword will do it. I think I have an idea of how to handle this. If if they're in the upper part, do not save. If they're in the upper part of the of the fight, use the cane of Somalia. That way, I could just run because it's kind of hard to hit. But if if he's on the lower part of the screen, then I could go ahead and use my sword because it's easier to hit the head. And it will just allow me to focus on dodging with the cane. I knew this wasn't going to be an easy fight, even with this strong sword, but... by the laser.
But to be fair, I could just reset and just do the Misery Mire stuff because and safely keep that. I'm just trying to get what I can without having to do that many resets. You know? But I, I, I can do that. give this a couple more tries as is. Okay? And if I don't manage to get the no-hit run, I'm going to just reset. We're going to take out Misery Mire that, and try to keep that save. And I can get the silver arrows. Right. Th there's nothing holding me back about the silver arrows. And then maybe we could go after the first dungeon. Yeah, let's give this a few more tries and then we'll just go back. I just wanted to try to save some resets. Ah, okay. oh, come on. For some reason, this one always moves to the right. So that's why I tried to place and block there, but no, I got hit instead. I'm just so worried I'm gonna press the wrong button. How about this? Three more attempts. Three more actual attempts. And then we'll just reset. Two more attempts. Two more attempts. Save. Yeah, I don't care if I get hit, honestly. It makes things go faster when I do against the boss. Accidentally just gonna press the wrong button. I wonder, does the 
block have the same power as a level 4 sword? Or does the boss only take 3 hits no matter what? It doesn't matter if you have 1 or 2 sword. Or level 2 or the level 4 sword. I'm wondering. Because maybe it doesn't matter. this means is we are going to Misery Mire. I don't have to worry about not getting hit. After the Misery Mire fight, we'll go to the first dungeon because we'll have silver arrows and we're keeping the silver arrows. So we should be able to get that one done. Hopefully, with no issues. Not like I've tried. Let's just try it again. I know it's a lot of repeating, but. Eh. I feel like doing it this way just helps get like some of the tension off of some of the fights. Because now I can just, who cares if I get hit? We also managed to get every treasure chest in the Dark World. Still missing some of the ones in the Light World though, apparently. Don't know where. I think that Mothra fight is probably going to be the hardest one. Well, it's going to be up there, that's for sure. Although, this, uh, I think his name is Blind. The Blind fight is turning out to be a real challenge. trek through this dungeon. Boss fight, who cares if I get hit? I already took I've already taken care of that. Right. Cane of Samoa. You know what? I'm gonna heal up. That works. Yeah, I remember the eyeball fight not being that bad, but I keep forgetting, like, some of the details of the strategies. Just, you know, spam the arrow three times per eyeball. Once you hit one, you'll get all three. You'll get rid of it. You know, you hit it once, it'll get hit by the other two. Like, sometimes I forget some of these strategies, even though in my mind I'm like, oh yeah, I remember, like, using, like, the hero or something. Alright. You 
know that first stream, we got through the first three dungeons with very little issue. I say very little because, you know, Moldra. Moldura, whatever. There we go. It's down. if I get hit. It's done. I've done I did this naturally with no hit. Easy. Honestly, it's the bomb the one that uses the bombs that took well was really annoying. Okay, we get to keep this. That's nice. You know, I just thought of something. With the fairy that we're going to get the silver arrows, are we able to throw our master sword in there and get a level three? Or does it only work uh, to get to uh, the level four? Three to four. You know what? Yes, I understand. I want to check. Now someone said they didn't get the achievement. Okay, we get to keep this. And I'm not. I'm not reading anything, so I don't know if it works. the level 3 sword from the fairy, then that means we can just uh, save the temper sword for later, but if it jumps from 2 to 4, then that doesn't work. In fact, we probably lose the ability to temper it. I've never tried something like this. I feel like if I'm going to try that, I want to make sure to save first. So, I could probably hold off on trying that later. Okay. 100 rupees for that. If I ever need to get rid of rupees for whatever reason, I could just spend hun hundreds of rupees just on the bomb. So after we get the silver arrows, arrows, let's go back to the first dungeon. We can now finally fight the boss. We can actually attempt it. Maybe once I enter the dungeon, I may uh, 
just die? Well, I, I, I'm gonna actually get down the boss anyway, never mind. But doing a save and continue wouldn't be a bad idea. Actually, no. Now, again. If I get the no if I don't get the no hit run, I can't. Be I don't know. I don't know. Yes, I dropped it. Give me the silver. Now we can go to the first dungeon. The achievement basically said that the boss needs to you use your hammer to break open the helmet, basically. And then use the silver arrows to kill him. I don't know how easy or hard this fight is going to be. I don't remember it being too hard. And with the arrows, it basically just means I attack from range anyway. But you never know. So that's why I want to save and continue. I think that would be smart. Yeah, I'm just gonna save and continue when I get in there. I don't want to have to redo this dungeon. The uh, Misery Mire, I don't want to have to redo the bomb thing. Yeah. We made it back. Alright, let's go ahead and get a save continue going. Fastest route would be. Let's see, what's the fastest route? Oh, just right here. I don't know if this is faster, but you know, we gotta get it done. Link, just stand there and get hit. Keep doing it. I believe in you. There we go. Save and continue. Yeah, there we go. Now we get to keep the silver arrows. To the boss. Where do I need to go? We need to go to the top right. I was also thinking of using this spot. This route. Kind of dumb, you can't push it that way. Alright. Gotta get to the top right. No, I need to go to the right, and then it leads to the top right. Okay. Got that a little confused. Now we move up. If 
we can do the no hit run on the boss great if not we are just going for the beat him with the specific challenge I don't need a light in the room, do I? No, you don't need to light the room. Thought it might have done, uh, did something. There we go. Alright. Got those two. Alright, boss time. Let me double check. Defeat Helmasaur. The face shield with only the hammer. I think that's the only way to destroy it anyway. The deal the rest of the damage with the silver with silver arrows. We're going for that first. I don't care about the no hit run. It's a single hit with the silver arrow. I got, I did not take any damage. Oh, that's nice. We got it. Oh, we're keeping this. Scott, because of you, I have escaped the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. This world used to be the golden land where the Triforce was hidden. But because Ganon, the boss of thieves, wished it the world was transformed, I'm sure he's intending to conquer even our light world after building his power here. He is trying to open a larger gate between worlds near the castle using our powers, but the gate is not open completely yet. If we seven maidens come together, we can break the barrier around Ganon's hiding place. I will tell you where the other girls are held. I believe you will destroy Ganon. I will return to my original form at that time. Do you understand? Yes, sure. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce! Okay. That's done. Now the map is finally updated. <laughs> so... Now we just need to do the two bosses without getting hit. I'm wondering if... If Skull Woods is going to be easier. And my, my reasoning is... 
because I have the silver arrows, I can easily deal more damage with them. So I am wondering if... I already know Mothra can get hit with silver arrows. Or at least should. So maybe if I tried to beat Mothra with my arrows, I could deal a lot more damage. Also, let the saving continue. That wouldn't be a bad idea. After Mothra. I know she can get hit with arrows. I just don't know how many arrows it's gonna take. And also another reason is if I die, it's also just very quick to get back to Mothra. Granted, it's also quick to get back to Blind. So either way, it doesn't really matter. I just don't think hitting Blind with arrows is gonna be better. Like, I feel like trying to hit blind with arrows is just going to be a lot harder to do because of the, uh, I don't know, the hitbox. without getting hit. Let's go. Let's try it. Wait. Do you not take damage from bows? I did get hit, but apparently Mothra is immune to bows and arrows. Do you think, as a flyer, do you think you'd be hit by an arrow perfectly fine? No, I guess not. Well, sounds to me like it's Fire Rod and Sword. to recover my magic either. Yeah, they flick 
can give you arrows. It makes you think that you can hit him. Well, fire rod it is. Yeah, you can. You can use your you can use your sword, but you can't use a freaking bow and arrow. I wonder if this is one of those ones where I should have my higher my better sword. This might be one of those ones where I should actually have the better sword. Because if I run out of magic, which is Highly likely to happen. I need to use my sword the rest of the time. That's a good use of that magic power. That's a good use of it. Try it again. I think it's like, okay, either have the moving platform, uh, either have the moving floor or the moving spikes. Not both. I was never a fan of both of them. We'll give this a few tries. If this doesn't work, we could try doing this one with the better sword instead. It's one of those things where I wish I knew how much damage each thing does to bosses to know what would be the best route. Oh, come on. It's just back here, too, so it's like, it's not a big annoyance, but it's just wasting time. I should have got the magic power. Oh well. Let's try it. I need a full refill. Hopefully some of the some of the mummies can do that. Please. 
That's not enough. That ain't gonna help me. Kinda wish one of the schools had a full uh, refill. magic. This is why you have to carry bombs. Alright. Well, I guess it's mainly a sword run. Magic refills, so I think we'll leave the dungeon. saved. How would the higher tier sword help me? I mean, from Mothra, like, it'll only help me if it does more damage to them with the fire rod. But I don't know about blind. Well, I want to test this out anyway. Hold on. I want to test this. Okay. It only works with the level three. Only works with the level three. Good to know. I am going to head to blind, I guess. I want to test out. I want to test out and see if the sword takes three hits. If the sword does take three hits, then I don't need to upgrade the sword. And I can try focusing on blind again. in here. Also, oh, taking the opportunity to get some magic power back. That's always helpful. Test out uh, the sword, which it's easier for me to just wait. One, 
two, three. It's still three hits. Still three hits with the sword, no matter what. That's good to know. All right. Uh, there may be an ad soon, and when that happens, I'm gonna refill more. All right. So no matter what, with the sword, it takes three hits. Also, with the King of Somalia, it takes three hits. Out of the a good strategy. Okay. Still like this idea. to shoot the laser because there's no way to tell it just pauses and all he does is just pause and then he shoots the laser but the pause isn't really long enough for me to react to the to do this. No, seriously, how are you supposed to do this without getting hit? Because it really doesn't matter on the sword upgrade. I don't know what else I could be doing. You know what? We'll try this. We'll try the silver arrows. We'll see if that even does anything. Because maybe if it's a one hit, that would save a lot of time. Let's try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. gets damaged. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Even if it gets damaged, you can sweat uh, you can still hit him with the sword. Okay. He doesn't seem to have really any invincibility frames. That's 
Good to know. You think he would be hurt by arrows? Like if you manage to get him, get him with an arrow. It's not likely, but you think it would do something. It's gonna start here in a minute. I'm gonna refill my water when that happens. In the meantime, let's just at least head towards the boss. Alright, let me go refill my water. Be right back. Okay, I am back. Uh, let me go ahead and start this. Oh, I did that wrong. There we go. Alright, let's try this again. needed. Just wait. Per hit, per face. Anything else I can do? I don't. I 
I just stood there and took the hit? Why'd I do that? I don't know the best way to handle this. Because I can't figure out where that freaking head is moving to. spend time focusing on the main body just in case it uses a freaking laser at me. And I also got a hit with my sword, or not. Maybe I would just use the cane. I don't know. Uh, but then I have to figure out where the freaking Gleok head is moving just so I don't get hit by it. Mothra one for that matter. Okay. Second, sorry, I'm just kind of reading here. You know what? Let me uh, let me at least do that. Kind of see what I'm reading. Use the fire rod and be aggressive. Mothra can't attack if we hit him first. Just keep chasing him and burning him at the. So, well, it sounds like a lot of people were able to use the cape, but then it got updated. Moth will not take damage if you send her into the spikes, so you need to take your time and choose your shots. It will take four tempered sword slashes to kill her. Right? Like the fully maxed out sword? Uh, definitely recommend tempered sword. Takes four solid hits to do it. Half the fire rod amount. Oh, okay. Took me about four or five attempts. Okay, so we could try. Turns out there's a glitch that makes Makova immune to most of the attacks from the tier four sword. What? To the extremely random four movement and spike movement, I feel like this is just harder than this. Stay in the middle as much as possible, chase to focus on survival. Use the sword to delay damage Mothra's attacks and fire when available. Must we relied on the sword beam? Oh. Well, some someone's saying level 4 sword. What about blind? Let's see. Trying to beat this off the cape has proven to be the hardest achievement so far. Uh, it's way harder than Mothra. Have the fire shield have it. Have full health. The master sword beams can damage blind for... That's useful information. Let's try to get full health. So the sword beams will work. Sadly, I'm kind of wasting all of my health right now. Is there... 
fairy. I don't think so. Oh, it's way faster than there. Why do I keep going around? Yeah, they're not getting lucky with fairies or anything. So maybe we should leave and come back. Try to get some health. Try to get some uh, magic. And, there's, and some people are saying fight Mothra with the Tempered Sword. Or the level 4. Want no hit. Let's start with the temper sword. We already saved. So you can reset if needed. Or when needed, I should say. That's a better use of that's a better term. Yep, temper my sword. Ten rupees, I don't care. Ah, oh, why do I place it there? It's not a good place to put it. I don't know if going to the dark world means you skip the screen. So we're just gonna do this. Sword is tempered. I am reading that with Mothra, uh, let's see, hold on. Someone mentions level three sword. Use the fire rod, be aggressive. Yeah, we know that. Only takes four tempered sword slashes. That's what I'm reading. I'm reading four hits with this tempered sword. So, if that's the case, let's try to beat Mothra. Beat Mothra without getting hit, and then reset the save. And then beat Mothra for real. Just stay from a distance and just keep hitting him. So I gotta hope that's actually good. That would actually work. I just need a good way to heal every time I fail. gonna really rely on the fire uh, uh, the fire wand so yeah I want 
to see how this goes with that game. But that's okay. Let's just go in here. Let me pay those guys. Okay, let's try. Try that again. I didn't even get a single hit on Mothra. That sucks. That was a waste. Do not save. I om I almost hit save. I almost hit save there. Again, let's actually hit Mothra. I think I hate the moving floor more than the moving spikes. Is it possible to copy a save in this game? Does this game let you do that? Because I should probably do that just in case I mess up somewhere. Why did I do that? Did hit Mothra, but only once. Kind of dumb that arrows don't work on Mothra. Okay. It's not four hits. <laughs> Maybe it's the level four sword that takes four hits, and it will be four hits. Oh, oh, oh. 
It is not four hits with the tempered sword, you freaking liars. It's the fastest way. Four and nothing happened. We're gonna try the golden sword. I have not saved. That's a good thing. four the level four sword let's hope it takes like four hits right because it's the internet and the internet never lies to me telling me four hits with the tempered sword is good enough well that's a freaking lie maybe they meant golden sword Granted, even with all the resets that have been done on the stream, we've made plenty of progress in terms of achievements. So it's not all not all has been lost. get hit and you didn't even make a single shot. I hate this, I hate this fight so much. I mean, normally I already have enough HP and with the fire rod and everything, like, I don't really care. But... I don't know, like... Trying to do this no hit. No thanks. It's a good thing I'm not doing a run like uh, reset if I get hit, you know? At least I'm not doing a run like that. Get the entire game without getting hit. If you do get hit, reset. 
Because I'm not doing that. Pain. to attempt. Okay. Do you... I didn't even get to hit him. I didn't even get to hit Mothra. I swear, there was also one attack where it felt like it just went right past Mothra. Like, that should have hit. Ugh. We give it a summon attempt with the fire rod. Because that's how I'm probably going to have to deal with some of my damage. I'm putting so much emphasis on the sword that I can't. the golden sword. Someone said use the sword beam, but... Uh. That's so weird. Like, it just wasn't... The sword just didn't seem to actually deal damage with the level 4. It's 
is this just one of those cases where Nintendo did not think you would fight this boss with silver arrows or golden sword. So they're like, let's not even program how much damage it would take. Right? It's kind of what it feels like is happening. Because that's the only explanation I have of why some of these attacks are not actually doing anything. I'm trying to get to max health. And I don't know where a fairy fountain is I can go to. Because I want to try blind with uh, four. These guys seem to like give me a heart every time. I think I can max out on my health in the thief dungeon. We're doing the th we're trying the thief dungeon again. Try this dungeon again. I should be able to get to max hearts before. Uh... So it seems like with Mothra. I want I would want the tempered sword because for some reason the golden sword just doesn't want to work. I don't know why.
Now I have like no easy way to get back to full health. Well, hmm. I don't know. These two fights are gonna be really tough. Okay, good. Set the strat. what I need to do. This boss, this boss is gonna be hell. Three, like both of these suck. Like, I don't know what else I can do. All right. Let's just keep it going. Keep attempting. again. Attempts is it going to take me? Will I even be bright, uh, blind or Mothra in this stream? We shall see. That'll be the. That's the real question. Apparently, I'm a 
else in this is a treasure chest in the light world. I don't know if the one for the bottle counts. Actually, some of them are, you know, one of them is the bottle. And then there's the treasure chest that will follow you. I don't know if that one counts. By the end of this, we're going to see the total amount of deaths for my final, uh, my final count. Obviously not counting some of the resets that I had to do, but still, like, it's going to be ridiculous. I got him. I think that was the farthest I got him. Phase three. With a single hit. <laughs> I feel like I might have to look up Mothra a little bit. I feel like that one I need to look up. This is just... No matter what I do, I have to hit him three times. Just to move on to the next phase. Oh, I suck. Mm. Yeah. 
Magic meter. Need more magic. I almost want to look around, actually. Do any of these, like, skull heads, like, drop magic? Because that would be, if something can guarantee magic, that would be very nice for me right now. That's hell. Don't need that. Very useful for me. So one down here I can grab. No? Yeah, I need to go from a different route. The game's like, why would you want magic? You don't need magic for this fight. We're never gonna give you magic. Alright. Die into the Gleok heads. Do I even need to drop down? No, I don't. I don't need to go down there and fight, although they have a chance of dropping. Whatever. There. There's some magic back. Yeah, I wonder if you could hit Mothra with the arrows, but because I upgrade to sil silver arrows, it doesn't work anymore. I mean, you're probably better off with the fire rod anyway, but it was worth a shot. Just ignore. Let's not even bother with the Cana scenario. Right? The other option I could try is to take the sword, wait for uh, blind to move to the lower part, and then use my sword when it was when it's easier to hit him. I could try that. Because it really just starts getting chaotic. Uh, later on when even one Leon can is walking around. I don't know. Low on ideas right now. Let's just wait it out. Is that an accurate title that you're getting? Because, I mean, I get a few where it's like, yeah, Conquer died. Okay. But, like, a clickbait title like that? No, I haven't really gotten those. Look, even if I don't care about Concord and I'm fine with it dying, uh,. I don't really want. I don't really care to watch those clear uh, clickbait hate videos. I guess. 
If, that, if I'm making any sense. Let's try the strategy again where we just kind of wait for a second. what made me run into the Gleon. But I've noticed this. Normally, I would hit him, you'd start shooting the projectiles, but it will still keep moving around. I notice when he just swaps over to the other side, he's still kind of trying to move back so he can stand still. Tile accurate, yeah. So I'll tell you once again. Right. It's annoying. It's been happening less often lately, but once it appears, it's still worse. Yeah, and you know what's really annoying to you? You'll accidentally click on a video you didn't mean to watch. Like you know, you're, I'm on, like you're on your phone. And you and, and you just you're scrolling through, but like you accidentally click on one instead of like you know to scroll. And even if you exit out immediately, it's YouTube still thinks, oh, you like this content. Now we're gonna give you a hundred more of that YouTube channel. that it keeps moving around and I have to dodge everything so maybe if I let him go to the other side and then come back down and I can hit him right as soon as he jumps back down where he will stand still that might give me enough time to move on to the next phase Yeah, I know there was a case or two where I accidentally put on a video. Just by pure accident, I back out immediately. And then, like, I constantly see uh, that YouTube channel or that type of YouTube content. You're like, no, I didn't even want this in the first place. Damn it. Actually, one thing that's actually been kind of annoying. Uh, one of my, I, I guess a pet peeve, whatever you want to call it. Sometimes I'll watch like a YouTube uh, like clip of like a VTuber, right? And but the thing is, there's like no official clip channel. It's all there's always like five different clippers. I did the same thing again. So what happens is like I'll watch one clip channel of a, like a VTuber, right? And I'm like, oh, that's kind of funny. And then if I don't know, maybe the next day, I'm browsing YouTube, I see the short, and I'm like, oh, I don't think I've seen this one, and it turns out it's the same thing. It's the same clip. It, it, it's the same clip that I've seen before, it's just, I think, because it's a different channel that clipped it, technically I haven't seen it from that channel. So there's like five different freaking clippers per, like, VTuber per popular one anyway. And you'll constantly see the same clip because it's five different clippers annoys me. It almost want it almost makes me want to block a few a few of them. Just be like, no, if I'm gonna get a clipper from like one VTuber channel, it's only gonna be like one of them. So that way I don't get the same freaking clip channel multiple times. 
Agency. Which, uh, wish you luck. Sent out an application to a job in Japan. Very cool. I hope it goes well. Is it like another, uh, is it a computer programming thing? Or web design thing like you were trying to do? Bonsai. Programming. Very cool. Where are you trying to go to? I meant more, uh, what, is there a specific company you have in mind that's at least recognizable? I like it when they have their own clip channel so you don't have to worry about those fan made ones. Exactly, but that's the thing, Hot Corn Dog. Most of the time they don't make their own, they don't have their own, uh, clip channel. It's always just fans doing it. But. But these five people be like, I'm the only one that's going to make the clip channel. And then there's like four others. So it's like, you're not original. <laughs> Although I think uh, there's like one VTuber that, well, she doesn't do the clips herself. She'd be like, nope, this is, the, this is my clip channel specifically. This other person's doing it. And I feel like I've only seen like, I don't have that problem with the one VTuber. But, like, other ones, yeah, I see it all the time, it annoys me. Down there. There's one. And I was dumb. Damn it! I feel like I'm only gonna give it a couple more attempts. And you know those clippers are never gonna stop. They're never they're gonna be like, huh, there's competition. I need to be the one that's the main clip channel for this VTuber. And it's like, please stop. I don't like seeing the same thing over and over and over again. So I was thinking about uh, the sync grind and Pokemon Masters. Uh, you can't just have all the powers, okay. Uh, the grid stuff, right? What about it? Okay, blind. Let's try this. That's basically what I've been... It's like the Navicus. It kinda is. Kinda is. Oh, come on. You gotta pick and choose your powers, right? And like you said, with the grid in Pokemon Masters, you are able to swap it around, right? You can freely choose. Can't just go on every power, right? I still don't hate the idea with uh, the Navicust. Remember how in 1 and 2, how you have the power-ups to fully max out your buster? I still kind of think you can maybe still do that and have the Navicust. You just have the Navicust affect other things. Uh, there's probably... I think there's a May with Torchic, so yeah. I think you can get the base again. Yeah. It's specifically May, I believe. Yeah. Although, I know there's like the whole like egg system where your create a character to hatch eggs, and I don't know if Torchic's one of them. She's never with Torchic? I thought she had Torchic. And then you just evolve it after. Star is looking, which that's weird because anime may use a sword chick. Players paired with sword chick. Can't it. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> You'll try gambling for May and Blaziken. All right. Players paired with Torchic. Oh, okay. And you can't evolve it. Yeah, Brandon has Trico. May has Mudkip. And Torchic is with Birch, I guess. And I fell off. They don't kill the protagonist much anymore. Yeah, I mean, let's be fair here. That's like most anime that don't kill off pro characters. Hell, that's just One Piece in general. Like, there are characters you think should be dead, but they are not. Wally? No, he's he's still good. Uh, Wally should have a delayed. But yeah, uh, his illness. I don't know. It's probably some sort of cancer. Because I know he has an Altaria on his team. Yeah, okay. Oh, that laser almost hit me. a couple more times but yeah mom's like with navi customizer what do you think of the idea that you keep you bring back the power-up system that was in one and two to power up your buster but you still keep the navi cust for everything else and if you wanted to balance out you just make you maybe make all of the navi cust parts maybe slightly bigger to compensate the fact that there, there would be no attack plus speed plus charge because I did like powering up my me Mega Buster for main playthrough of 1 and 2. Plays a kin cell skip, right? It's a Gen 7 thing, hot corn dog. Sogo Leo is basically a lion with the power of the sun, so there you go. Power with the power of the it makes the player want to rely on the buster more, which the game is designed for. Well, in a single player sense, it works fine. But I guess in multiplayer, yeah, that might be good. You see, I, I mainly have a single player mindset. Multiplayer, maybe that won't work as well. Really? Master. 
monster scene I don't know about. I? Is there competitive Pokemon Masters? There's gonna be something co-op related, okay. Wait, is this the first time they've done anything co-op in Masters? Daily co-op event. I forget, is there PvP in Masters, or is that not a thing? Co-op, no PvP, co-op was a thing, but no, no, it was never in Masters, okay. PvP to get like rewards, right? In heroes? Do you think the co op thing in Pokemon Masters will be like some sort of raid boss or something? Because raids are already in a thing in Gen 6, uh, Gen 8 and 9. So would it just be a raid boss that you team up with? You don't know yet? Okay. Really? I, I never get hit by that first laser. We found out the rewards from being high level to low level is minuscule. Just click auto and win or lose your mm. So that so PvP is not it doesn't sound like it's really that worth it. Like, is there any sort of material from PvP in heroes that you need to like boost your characters or something? staring at Cynthia's face, and she laughs a lot while you try to choose a topic should be interesting. Oh, right, that thing. They added Lance to the lodge this month. Right. I... Lance the Dragon Master that only uses three dragons. And they're all under-level Dragonites. <laughs> Uh, yeah, when I booted the game back up, the Lodge was like a new thing. And I barely messed with it. I'm like, okay, is this something I need to do to make my characters better or something? Just another thing to focus on. Yeah. Again, I, I think with mobile games, when you start really late, come back or come back to it after a year or two and there's just so much stuff to keep track of it makes me less likely to want to continue even playing it freaking lasers and arc swords why does that sound familiar Oh, 
<laughs> you can shoot a dragon type hyper beam. I mean, actually, I was gonna say that can be a thing, but no, you can't change the type of hyper beam. Uh, hmm, is it because of the arc suit or whatever? Legends ZA, I heard got delayed to next year. Like, if that is true, I was really excited to be like, oh my god, they're actually giving it time. That's what Pokemon needs right now. But then, like, I was talking to my friend, and I thought about it for a second. I'm like, wait, they're probably not delaying it because they need more time. They're probably delaying it because there has been no news of the next Switch. And it's gonna be on that, so that's why it's getting delayed. So I'm like, oh. I mean, I'm glad it's getting delayed, but, like, the reasoning for it, if that is true, is not as great as I thought it was. Two PvP modes and heroes, but there's no difference between gameplay. One is at every other week, and the other is a milestone reward, and then the rewards are permit. Uh, Mighty War Hyper Beam you can only use it once. Once per battle, I'm assuming, right? Gotta sell the Game Boy Advance 2 somehow. Isn't that just the DS? I mean, the DS is the Game Boy Advance 2 because it has two screens. That's how you know it's the sequel. The Game Boy Advance is just an upgraded Game Boy Color, so. I'm thinking of giving this, like, maybe three more attempts. And then I'm gonna call it. The GBA 4 since... Three, yes, is the GBA 3. Well, you got the Game Boy Color, which was before the Game Boy Advance, and you got the original Game Boy. Which, some people are, make an argument if the Game Boy Color is actually a new system, or just like a .5 upgrade. I count it as a new system, but yeah. It probably is a tier list in Pokemon Masters. There probably is. You know what? That, that's probably good. That's probably good. All my roller has base 330 and it's boosted further. The more the opponent's defense, special defense is lowered. I mean, that's just normal, isn't it? <laughs> Which is what his ability does. Lower the defense by 6. He hits with special move and lowers the defense by 6. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, because your favorite characters are always bottom tier. That's, like, true in, like, a lot of games I play. Be like, oh, I really like this character. Oh, they suck. Well, either have to get very good with a crappy character or just don't play as them. It happens a lot in fighting games, I'm assuming. Thank <laughs> you. 
which I still, I still want to pick up that Marvel vs. Capcom collection. Again, just in case Disney decides to delist it. But I heard about that other Capcom fighting collection. Uh, some of the games that they said that are going to be on that thing are Power Stone? Uh, freaking, what was it? Project Justice, which is the sequel to Rival Schools. On the, that was out on the Dreamcast. And I think there's going to be uh, Capcom vs. SMK2. SMK2. And those right there are, is a pretty good lineup. Main Blaze can't are terrible, not broken to you, but never heard any complaints. Well, that's at least the best you could probably ask for. Now, skin is awesome. Now you don't have to worry about the skin being bad. <laughs> that's the thing about costumes, they don't have to be bad, you just have to pay 40 bucks to get the costume you want. Because that's how it works, right? Actually, you know, I joke about that, but freaking Pokemon Unite. There was, remember that controversy? It probably still is a thing where if you wanted a costume, you basically had to pay 40 bucks for it. I don't know if they, you know, realized that's stupid and then cut back on it. Or if they're still doing it. Because I don't play that game. Like no interest with that gameplay style. <sighs> I got I ran into mm. Give me a one more attempt. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking one or two more attempts and I'm calling it. Oh, this is gonna be hell. Mainly attacks with Blaze Kick. Blaze Kick has the ability Defense Crush 9. Lowers the opponent's defense by 1 every time it hits. I mean, that sounds useful. That sounds very useful. Okay, blind. Your time has come. I've come to bargain. in the terrestrializing into masters is that something they've added in by now changes defense destroyer which now lowers by two again sounds useful My bargain is you die, and I don't get hit. That's the bargain. And I got hit by the laser. So who has the other eight defense destroyers, and is there more of them? That's a good point. It's not level nine. It's Defense Destroyer 9, as in the ninth Defense Destroyer. One more. One more attempt. One more attempt. I'm calling it. I didn't have to do this no hit run. I would have been done with this game by now. 
There's not a single scar on violet unit that have been added. Oh, really? I'm surprised they haven't added them yet. Do you think that would have been something they would have tried to take care of right away? Even if it was just a rep, you know? doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the about page. Let's go over the achievements that we managed to get today. Because we actually got a few. Let me scroll to the top because I don't remember everything. Uh, let's see. We got a few of these. So, uh... Because I don't remember the first one we got. Uh, we got the good bee and got it in a bottle. Sell the bee to the merchant. Uh, let's see. These are all World 1 stuff. Uh, Master Sword be done. Got the sewers. Now we're done with this. I think we did that yesterday. Palace of Darkness. Okay, we beat Helmosaur with only the hammer and the silver arrow. Defeat him without getting hit. Free the maiden in the Palace of Darkness. Uh, let's see. Got all the treasure chests in the Swamp's Palace because I forgot to do that. Uh, let's see. All treasure chests in Skull Woods. Defeat Mothra with the bee and rescue the maiden. Technically, we rescued the maiden from Skull Woods. Uh, let's see. Defeat Blind with King of Sum No, we did that yesterday. I think we did that yesterday. Free the Yeah. Got the Cane of Bryna. Uh, defeat Cold Stair in the Ice Palace with only the Fire Rod. Rescue the Maiden. Defeat Cold Stair without getting hit. Rescue the Maiden. Uh, what else? What else? Defeat uh, Vitri Vitrius? Uh, the Eyes with only bombs and the big eye with the uh, arrows. Defeat him without being hit. Complete. Uh, rescue the Maiden from Misery, Misery Mire. Is that it? Is that what we got today? Oh, Tempered Sword, Golden Sword. There we go. That's what we got today. And just a reminder, uh, next, a after this week, I'm going to be gone for two weeks. But yeah, anyway. Uh, Link should have locked in. He should have. Uh, Lono is there. Most of the Paldea Elite Four have been added, with the exception of Hassel. The three main rivals have been added. Jacques and Gursa have been added. Gita have been added. Okay. Well, so a decent amount of Gen 9 characters have made it. Anyway, have a good day. Later. Man, I really hope I can finish this.